how to wire a new special construction. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be talking about a long awaited video of interconnected uh, smoke detectors in a home. So in all new homes uh, here in Canada, and I'm not sure about parts of the US, we're required to put a smoke detector in each bedroom, on each level of the home, and in each area. So this ends up being a lot of smoke detectors. Now, one of the products that we use is either a BRK or a KID. They're a hardwired smoke detector with battery backup. So they have a nine volt battery in them, and they also hardwire. So I'd like to point out that each smoke detector has a white and black wire, which is the 120 volt power feed. And then it has a red interconnect wire. So what happens is, is we loop the wire from box to box to box. And that has to be on with a lighting circuit. And the reason it has to be on with a lighting circuit is because, uh, so you can't just shut them off during the event that they're going off, you'll lose your lights. So quite simply, all that happens when we do them up in the box is we connect our whites together, our blacks together, and then our two interconnect reds. So if those interconnect reds, if one smoke detector goes off, it sets off all the smoke detectors in the house. So now we're gonna flip the camera around and we'll demonstrate how we actually install one. Okay. So what we're gonna point out is that inside this box, you see uh, two sets of three wires. The reds are interconnected together, the whites are interconnected together, and the blacks are interconnected together. And what this does is this loops all of the three wires going from smoke detector to smoke detector through the house. So my journeyman is now gonna demonstrate uh, putting the actual whip for the smoke detector that I showed you onto the connections. So first he's gonna do his white and marit that on. You're uh, starting to be one of my better uh, journeymen for videos. You're a good hand model. <laughs> Thank you. And then he's gonna do his black. And he's twisting his wire nuts on clockwise, because that's important. And then he's gonna do his red interconnect. So that interconnect is what makes it talk to all the other smoke detectors. And after that, he's gonna simply tuck the wires up into the back of the box to get them up out of the way, leaving the whip hang down. And then he's gonna put on the mounting plate, which he's grabbing there now. He's gotta loosen the screws off. And then he's inserting the mounting plate and that goes on clockwise as well. And guys, there's a really, we can do up to 12 of these on a circuit. Um, so it usually covers every house we go to put them in. And then we usually end up with one in each bedroom and then one on each level, one in the main area. Um, you can never do too much for safety, right? <coughs> Excuse me. And then he's gonna plug the smoke protector in. Now that just plugs in in the pin connector on the back. You gotta line that up and plug it in. And then that simply goes up there counterclockwise. Now you see that tab hanging off there? That is the nine volt battery. So we do not remove that nine volt battery until we turn all the power on and we get to the end of the job. Um, in fact, I'm gonna get him to show, he's gonna put the dust cover back on that. And the reason for that is because there's still construction work going on here. So we don't want that dust cover or that battery to come out right till we get to the end of the job because this is a brand new house and we don't want nuisance tripping. So there you have it. There's, uh, there's our uh, smoke detectors and how we interconnect them. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll also put a, a description in the video link down below as to uh, what we get for smoke detectors. Thanks and we'll see you on the next video. Um.